Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battlescars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Dark Souls 3 Prima Official Game Guide, Estes Flask Edition. This was released alongside Dark Souls 3 on April 12, 2016, and this is the Estes Flask Edition right here, in this nice little box. It's completely wrapped in plastic, it's got a nice uh, wood grain design and metal on the edges. It's a little bigger than I expected, it's a pretty big box. Just to give you an idea of the measurements, it is roughly uh, 9 inches wide. Uh, roughly maybe 4, uh, 5 inches high. And length is roughly about 12 inches. So it's a pretty big box. Um, it is, it was, it did come with a pretty uh, high price tag. I think it originally was announced for uh, about 100 and. $20 oh, actually I may have the price right here so there you guys go uh, $130 apparently uh, in the US Canadian $161.99 and Australian $189.95 I, I fortunately did not pay that much um, I got it through Amazon I think I don't think it was an Amazon exclusive but uh, no, it wasn't. I don't think it was. But anyway, Amazon had it for a lot cheaper. I think it went down to 85 and then eventually to about 77 99 And that's how much I paid for it. So it wasn't really, you know, as high as it was when it was announced. So thankfully for that, uh, you know, I'm very thankful for that. So um, thankfully the price decreased for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, honestly, I don't care, but... Uh, I'm glad that I got it for that price. Uh, of course, you can get the official guide for like, I think the collector's edition. There was a collector's edition that came with a journal and something else uh, for about, uh, I think, $34. So we'll see what this flask is about. Uh, you know, you're paying this premium price for whatever this flask is. So I'm curious to find out what it is. And I will show you guys right now as I open this box. So. Uh, right off the back, I got the plastic wrapper off. You guys can see that it's got a nice glossy finish to it. So it's very nice uh, here. Uh, fortunately, mine did not get damaged uh, during transit. So all of the edges are nice and pristine. And it's very nice. The bottom has wood grain as well. And the bottom, uh, you know, of course, it's printed and nice metal designs on the edges. Just like a, uh, just like a chest. Um, all right. So let me see if I can. All right. My camera is fine. Let's go ahead and open this. Oops, just hit the back of my desk there. Um, all right, so we got some protective uh, plastic uh, packaging material, uh, some bubble wrap. And I'm assuming this white box is the flask. I'm gonna take everything out first and then um, I'll probably move the box out of the way so I can show you everything. We got this other white box here that came right on the side there. And then here, maybe if I do that, it might be better. There you guys go. You guys can see uh, the, the contents of the box. So here is the uh, journal. So it's just a nice little book. It's got a matte finish on the cover and it's, it's empty, of course, for uh, note taking. So nothing to see there. We're going to put that aside. I think I showed you guys a code just uh, before I did this for a free guide, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, free guide. So I guess that might be a digital, a digital copy, which I already have. You know, I think one came with the game itself. And then finally, we have the guide itself, which... Uh, I really don't use for games, especially not Dark Souls. I really just get it as a collector's item. So now that I got everything out of the box, I'm going to go ahead and close it. I think I'm going to save the uh, protective packaging material so that I can, if one day I need to put this away or whatever, I can do so. So the cover on this is very nice. Back is a continuation of the front. Uh, this has like a little sleeve, so... You guys can see that the sleeve comes off and there's the cover of the uh, strategy guide. So this is what you get uh, when you buy the strategy guide by itself. 
just the uh, the cover here, but the collector's edition, or uh, not the collector's edition, but the Estes Flask edition, which it is a collector's edition, comes with this nice little sleeve on top of it. So uh, that's a very nice touch. I do appreciate that. And of course, here is your guide. This is your typical guide with lots of uh, tips, hints, and secrets for the game. So we're going to set that aside there. I've already shown you guys the journal. This is the journal for taking notes. Uh, I'm obviously not going to use this for uh, anything, so I'm going to leave it blank. It's a collector's item. And then uh, in this nice, nice, sorry, in this nice little box, we have a bookmark. And this is one of the things I was actually really looking forward to. And believe it or not, one of the the things that made me buy this, aside from the Estes Flask. This is apparently a bookmark for the strategy guide. And as you guys can see, it is the Sword of Artorias. I think that's what it's called from the original game, if I remember correctly. And if my camera decides to focus, there you go. I can show you the details on this amazing little sword. So now that my camera has focused there, you guys can see the amazing detail. And it is actual metal it's a type of metal it might be i don't know what it is exactly it might be i don't know i don't think it's aluminum it's too heavy to be aluminum uh maybe might be steel i don't know but uh you guys can see that it is pretty awesome so that's the tip of the sword go down this way and up to the handle there you go so i am super happy with this thing here i mean just as a collector's item Definitely not going to use this as a uh, bookmark. No way. So there you guys go. There's that. And I put that aside. And finally, last but not least, the main event. The reason why I got this edition and why I paid over $75 for this thing. And I tell you guys the price because uh, I know like, I get a lot of questions on the comment section below. So I might as well tell you during the video. I don't really care if you guys know exactly what I paid for these things. You guys can know. That's what these videos are for. So yeah, here's the Estes Flask. And uh, let's see. Yep, this is what I was afraid of a little bit. It's just... It's just a chunk of plastic if you guys can believe that my camera might be too my light might be too bright here my lighting is too bright so i i brought it down a bit so you guys can see here that it's not an actual flask it's not hollow you cannot you know i wasn't gonna use this for drinking or anything obviously of course not but it would have been nice if it was an actual flask with i don't know or something you know inside uh maybe a light you know that or some sort of effect that you know would kind of give you like the effect that you see in the game as you drink the uh, the Estes flask. It kind of empties gradually, and eventually it becomes this green hollow vessel. But we don't get any of that here. It's just an actual flask, and it's basically just solid plastic. <laughs> I don't want to sound uh, disappointed, but. It's it's a little underwhelming. I mean, for a a premium price like this, for something like this, this is definitely uh, a little unacceptable. I would say. Um, you know, I'm, I I don't I don't regret getting this, but uh, let's just leave it as as that. It's a little underwhelming. I wish uh, I think they could have done a little better with this flask. Give us uh, maybe some nice, maybe a paint job at least or something. But I don't know. I don't even know if it glows in the dark or something. I might test it later and maybe post it in the description below or the comment section below but you know I actually like this uh, Sword of Artorias a lot better I think it is the Sword of uh, Artorias it has to be so I actually like this a lot better than the flask so uh, anyway so uh, I'm a collector so I'm happy I have it but yeah this thing could have been a little better uh, you can still even see uh, you know flashing from the mold making process see that big old line running through there I mean, come on, they could have cleaned that up a little more. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a line there. Anyway, I'm not going to complain about it anymore. It's it's okay. It's it's nice enough, I guess, but a little underwhelming. Anyway, guys, I hope that this is uh, a, a helpful video for those of you who maybe are on the fence about this 
uh, set. I would say this is definitely for the hardcore Dark Souls fan. And if you want to have this in your collection alongside your Dark Souls games, and if you got the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition and all that, then yeah, this is for you probably, maybe. You know, you can have this nice little Estus flask, but... If you just like Dark Souls for the game and you don't really care for collecting, uh, you know, member of memorabilia or any merchandise, then I, I think it's probably safe to say that you can pass on this. And uh, they do sell the strategy guide with the uh, journal and everything uh, separately. Uh, I don't think it comes with this nice little Artorias sword uh, bookmark. But, it, you know, you get the, the rest of it. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, guys, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and it was informative. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you did. And stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys next time.